Hey, what's up, everybody? It's time for another telecom teardown. And we got this unit here, which I think is a amplifier of some kind. I didn't find any data sheet for it. Yes, we got. What do we got here? We got a div receiving antenna here. And we got the main antenna output, as I think, here. We got two transmit, transmit one, transmit two. We got transmit combined and transmit. So the transmit goes to the transmit combined by this jumper wire here. And the receive antenna goes to receive duplexer out. Got some uh, test connections here. Got a lot of receive, receiving signal stuff. And we've got this main connector here. So here's some specifications with the label. And here is how it looks like without the jumper wires. And yes, here's a label saying that there is uh, beryllium oxide inside. So we need to be a bit careful. That's dangerous stuff. If we flip it over, you can see we got a pretty big, big heat sink. Obviously, there is some kind of amplifier inside it. And now screws are removed. Let's lift off the, the top. So if we flip it over, See here is some nice waveguide filter. And let's remove this part as well. We got a module here. There's the board with the main connector. Here's a little mysterious uh, thing that is connected to a heat sink. It contains beryllium oxide, so we need to be careful with this unit here. There's a coaxial wire, and there's a ground wire. Yes, let's remove the top first. Screws are gone, so let's just lift it up. There's the top, made of aluminium. And now we can remove this plate. Yes, here's inside of it. Got a little module here, properly shielded. Got the antenna wires going into that. Here's the transmitting things. Got these two coaxial wires. I wonder, can you even call these coaxial wires? They are like tubes, coaxial tubes. Yes, here's the unit. There was not so much into that. There's two coaxial tubes in that. This one goes into the waveguide filter. Yes, coaxial wires. Neat little unit. What do we got in here? Beryllium oxide. Keep away from mat magnetic materials. Hmm. We need to be a bit careful with that one. And now it's time to remove the back plate. Yes, and I can remove this. I can see this little thing here. And there's the waveguide filter. Here's other units. So completely separated. Yes, and here's the little unit containing beryllium oxide. With a capacitor here and the coaxial wire going into that. So next part here, two filters. One input, one output. Yes, they are removed now, but I think they are completely sealed units. 
Here are some numbers. Yes, let's have a look on this part. This got a 12 volt DC across this. So let's open this up and have a look. So again, the screws are removed. Lift off the cover. And in here, we got some circuit board. And now let's have a look at this uh, cavity filter, waveguide filter. Got a lot of screws to remove. Yes, now we are done. A ton of screws later. Let's lift the lid off. Our calibration void label destroyed. Yeah, look inside of that. So let's begin with the antenna side. We got the antenna here. It goes to a little circuit board that connects it to these two connectors. And a wire, a coaxial wire. Goes to this cavity here, which is for a transmit. And another wire from the same place actually, from the transmit cavity to the receive cavity here. And it goes this way and to the receiving terminal. And a transmit cavity here. They are actually two coaxial wires going into that. And it goes this way here. And around here to here. And here's the this coaxial the transmit wire. There's a bit of wire in here. And there's a bit of wire in here as well. It goes to this cavity. Another wire here it goes to that cavity here. And on the receiving part. Got a wire here to this cavity here, and we got this cavity right here, which does absolutely nothing, not connected anywhere. And if you wonder what's inside one of these boxes, they were completely sealed. But I managed to get one open. I opened this one carefully. So you can see it's a cavity filter as well, but this one was completely sealed. There's the output terminal, it's the input. So let's have a look at this unit here. It contains beryllium oxide, so we need to be a bit careful with this one. I need the connectors. So I need to open this one up. Yes, I removed all the shielding away. And you can see we got some big magnets. Yes, let's see if we can lift this up, the top off. This top off. And here we can see interesting stuff. There are some more magnets. You can see we got a some kind of I wonder what that can be actually. Fifty six fifty three. Hmm. Got three of those. Let's go to those two lines. Plus that one. That one goes to this interesting thing here. With one part from this magnet going into this thing here. And the other one goes to the coaxial. Same with that one. I think this is some kind of capacitor. And this line here goes straight into that. And now we are ready with this unit which contained beryllium oxide 
Let's go to the next one, which contains beryllium oxide. So put this one on the side here, like this. And here's the unit, the last one, which contains beryllium oxide. I remove the metal studs. Looks like this. One left. And disconnect the coaxial tube. Let's have a look inside of it. Look at that. We got another ship, which reminds uh, of uh, these ships here. These are 5653. And this is a 5307. I wonder if these are termination resistors. I think that these can be termination resistors, how they're arranged. If I have a look at this one again, it has ended that part. So I think this can be termination resistors. Let's measure them. Yes, now what my multimeter. Let's have a look. Ground this here. So it's 58 ohms. Should be the same. No, that one is 51. That's 48. Maybe it's better to disconnect them. Let's have a look on that one. This is that here. So it's 48 as well. So it can be some kind of termination resistors. So this would be a pretty powerful termination resistor. If you see how large the heat sink was, which it was mounted on. So if I have a brief look at this uh, circuitry here, we can see the receiving antenna that has 12 volts DC across it for preamp inside the antenna unit. It goes into some circuitry here, into this connector here, coaxial wire, which was going into this unit, filtering away all the unwanted frequencies. And after that, it goes into here, into a coil, into a potentiometer, and into this little white thing here, and goes into a Resistor network, gain trimming by solder bridges. And we got a bridge of resistors here. And it goes through some capacitors into a BFG135, which is a 15 volt, 150 milliamp, 7 gigahertz transistor. Goes through another capacitor into coil into another coil and into two separate coils and to the outputs and the output was going into these connections here we got receiving signal this one which had four connections was going into these four ones here one two three and four and this div receive was to the other module which looked pretty similar. So all what this module does is to take in the signal from the antenna and filtering it and amplifying it and send it out by these wires here. And here is what we scored from this unit. Some nice resistors, high power resistors. A bunch of different connectors, circuit boards, huge heatsink, a ton of screws, pretty many screws in that. So if you need screws, take apart one of these telecom things and you will get a ton of screws out of it. Different sizes. Thanks for watching.